Possessive adjectives, part two. Now, I'm going to say each of these six expressions in English, then Spanish, and clap. And I'd like you guys to repeat them with me, okay? Number one, their house, su casa. Their house, su casa. Number two, their brother, su hermano. Their brother, su hermano. Number three, their houses, sus casas. Their houses, sus casas. Number four, their brothers, sus hermanos. Their brothers, sus hermanos. Your house, su casa. Your house, su casa. And finally, number six, your brothers, sus hermanos. Your brothers, sus hermanos. Now, here's the problem. Uh, the word su keeps popping up. Su, su, a uh, su. And the word sus keeps popping up. Sus, sus, sus. And here's why. The word su can actually mean nine different things. Su can mean his, hers, its, your sir, yours ma'am. And su can also mean there's a group of boys, there's a group of girls, you guys to a group of boys, and you guys is to a group of girls. Okay? So we'll talk about that a little bit in this clip. Let's look at the first one. Their house. Two boys are talking. Now some of you are thinking, Mr. Holt, if two boys are talking, boys are plural, there should be singular. But be careful. If, two, if I'm talking about two boys out in the hall and I say, wow, their sister is really smart. Is the word smart going to be singular because the boys have one sister? Or will the word smart be plural because two boys are out talking in the hall? Smart is going to be singular because it's an adjective referring to one girl. Now, if two boys are out talking in the hall and I say, wow, their house is really cool, the word their is going to be singular because house is singular. So the expression their house tells you nothing about who's doing the talking. Their agrees in number with the thing that they're talking about or the thing that's being possessed. That's hard. Well, let's look at a couple more examples. Uh, examples. Their brother. Two girls are talking. I say, wow, their brother is the best quarterback I've ever seen. Now, is the word there going to be singular because their brother is one quarterback, or the word there will the word there be plural because two girls are talking? There is singular because there is referring to brother. Again, there uh, does not tell you anything about who's doing the talking. There, just like my, yours, and his, uh, tells you a lot about the thing that's being possessed. So, for possessive adjectives like me, tu, su, nuestro, su, you look at the word that follows it to decide whether it's singular or plural. That's an important concept. With possessive adjectives, me, tu, su, nuestro, su, to decide whether it's singular or plural, you look at the word that follows it. Casas ends in S, so there ends in an S. It's literally theirs is houses. Now, if two boys are talking, it's sus casas. If two girls are talking, it's sus hermanos. So sus can refer to a uh, can can refer to male things or female things. Sus is both male and female. Okay, and again, how do I know if it ends in s or not? Look at the word that follows. If the word that follows ends in an s, the possessive adjective ends in an s. If the word that follows is singular, the possessive adjective is su singular. Now down here, casa is singular, so it's su casa. Hermanos is plural, so it's sus hermanos. So again, the take-home lesson from this clip is this. For possessive adjectives like me, tu, su, nuestro, su, to decide whether they're singular or plural, you do not worry about who's talking. To decide whether it's singular or plural, you look at the word that follows. If the word that follows uh, me, tu, su, nuestro, su is plural, the me too su is plural. If the word that follows is singular, the possessive adjective is singular. All right. Sorry, that's a lot to throw at you in one clip. Let me cover up the Spanish here and give you your post quiz. Look at these six expressions in English and say the Spanish equivalents out loud, or even better, look at these six expressions and write the Spanish equivalents down on a piece of paper. Remember, to decide if they're singular or plural. Look at the word that follows. All right, this has been Possessive Adjectives, Part 2.